Victoria 3, the only game which allows you to live the life of a 19th century politician. Today, of course, we know that if your country's economy isn't doing well, all we have to do is close the border to these stinking immigrants. They always come in here, raise the rent, lobby Congress to make affordable housing impossible to build. Unacceptable stinking immigrants. However, people back in the day used to do it the other way around. They would actively expand the border in order to catch more immigrants in their country before they can escape. Which brings us to Austria. They were very good at catching the immigrants. I mean, the Ottomans were also good at catching the immigrants, but don't look at them, look at Austria. So much better. We are ruled by the Kaiser, Ferdinand von Habsburg. How do we know he's a Habsburg? He is arrogant, psychologically afflicted, and sickly. That's how you know. And of course, we have the most modern form of governance in all of Europe. Way better than the Ottomans, which I told you not to look at. You looked at them, didn't you? Okay, Ottomans, I must take Bosnia to prove a point. And of course, I'm joined by the Russians because our flags are so similar, the Ottomans started shooting at them as well. Silly Ottomans, the yellow in the Russian flag stands for the Russians, and the yellow in my flag stands for the immigrants, which are sometimes Russians, but all of the time they're below the Austrians, which is the black in the flag, in case anyone hasn't figured that out. And Albania is free, no longer shall they live as immigrants. That honor goes to the Bosnians, they shall now be immigrants in Austria, the dream of every Bosnian. What a historic day for them. I should probably go there and open a museum or something. Now think about it. Oh my god, France is having a massive revolution. I have to help them out of the goodness of my heart, of course. There you go, France, you're safe. Now you can concentrate on bankrolling me for the next decade. It's like 20,000 bucks on minimal taxing. But if I maximize the taxing, the number go up, which will allow me to essentially double my construction sector. Thank you, France. I appreciate it. Now we shall concentrate our legislative efforts into an enacting a dedicated police force. It doesn't change anything, but I'll pretend that it does. That's just classic politics. Okay, France, I'll take on your debt for an obligation. Like the saying goes, if you want a horse to work for you, you gotta feed it. Jesus, that took all my gold reserves. Oh, what is this, Russia? You want us to be allies? I mean, people keep confusing our flags. We might as well work together at this point. Also, what is this? The Schleswig-Holstein question. Are we talking about Schleswig, which is Schleswig-Holstein? Holstein or Holstein, which is also Schleswig Holstein, and they're all ruled by the same guy, the King of Denmark. Remember kids, the most important thing about 19th century politics is, if you are confused, just shoot them, shoot them all. And we have a dedicated police force, finally, after all these years, a moment worthy of the history books. Speaking of worthy of the history books, surrender Denmark, you can't win. And look at that, there's a movement for colonial exploitation. Now that sounds like a good way to catch some new immigrants. France wants a defensive pact. I mean someone will need to defend me against the vengeful Denmarkians. For my marvelous naval invasion, that's me, not the Russians. You're just confusing the flags. All right, Denmark, let go of Hashtan in Schlossvik. I demand it. Excellent, now we can have colonies to specifically capture more immigrants from the Congo. Go. Oh, what is this? A movement for no migration controls? What a great idea. Now we don't have to hunt down the immigrants. They can just walk right in. Genius. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Russia is declaring war on me for German leadership when I have a defensive pact with France and an alliance with Russia. You know what? With that kind of leadership, I think I'll do a better job. And now, not only that I'm the leader of the German people, I also have Silesia. Welcome to Austria, immigrants. You're gonna love it. Speaking of welcome immigrants, oh, we have to do now is improve our standard of living or just lie about it and employ a secret police so the truth never comes out all right boys it's time for you to get to work Police brutality? I meant in secret. Secret policeman? And now we can enact an oligarchy. This really won't change anything, but I'll pretend that it does. France is having another massive revolution. I'll save you, France. Give me Corsica. Because it's always Corsica for some reason. We've researched nationalism. Oh my god, look at all the new immigrants. I mean, new Austrian citizens. Is there anything else in the journal I need to worry about? The Krakow, 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 Krakow uprising? I don't know how to pronounce that. So I'm gonna eliminate you, just so I don't have to pronounce your name ever again. Nice, welcome to Austria, Krakow. You're gonna love it. And now we're number two, because we're so good at managing the immigrants, and not because Prussia and France sharply dropped off. No. 
it's because we're really good. Speaking of sharply dropping off fronts, our foreign investment contract has expired. We should probably renew it. And now we have an oligarchy, which is an unprecedented change that will usher a new era of prosperity and development. And our standard of living will finally stop going down. I'm sure of it. Oh my god, France is 5 million in debt, declared bankruptcy and have to bankroll me for a decade. But don't worry about it, they're gonna enact an oligarchy at some point and fix everything. As their republic is figuring things out, we can enact laissez-faire, because it sounds fair. Now I must take over Valachia because our flags are... When did I change the flag? Um, I mean, I was going to say our flags are too similar. Yeah, um, and the Russians and the Prussians are also here because of the flag. Yeah, I'm sure of it. And of course, we're winning without a problem. Well, I think. I don't actually know what's going on, but we're winning. And the Prussians are out. And now we have Valachia, of course. Right for Austrian clay. Legislative failure. Well, this sucks. I guess we can focus on the tax reform so we can take more money from the immigrants. And we have pan-nationalism. Thank God. Now we can fix our blunder with the Valachians. I mean, if we're Germany, all the Romanians will be happy to live here. We just have to make a big diplomatic play with a lot of countries. Looks like a mess, but I'm sure we'll handle it. Wait, why am I fighting France and not the Prussians? France, I thought we were friends. Oh no. Oh, what are the Americans doing here? That's not fair. I'll call my friend. That didn't stab me in the back. This treason won't go unnoticed, France. You'll pay for this. And Italy just formed. I guess they thought no one's looking. Might as well. Remember kids, you can do whatever you want, as long as no one's looking. I mean, if they are looking, just defeat the northern German countries first, and then push into France, before the tax revolution gets you. Jesus Christ, guys, don't you have anything better to do? And now to push into France and surround 59 American divisions. Classic German unification. America has surrendered. Now is the time to get my vengeance on France. And now we can disproportionately tax the poor. It's only fair. Speaking of fair, you're gonna get cut in half, France. It's what you deserve for betraying my friendship. I trusted you, man. And as for you guys, I haven't invented paratroopers yet. So I guess we can just leave it at that. Wait a minute, France is still giving me bankrolls. Did I overreact it there? Are we still friends? Friends? I'm sorry, when I was a kid, I had a friend that betrayed me, and I'm still regretting that I didn't cut him in half. I suppose subconsciously, I went back there and I, uh, I might have overreacted. And also, I can't form Germany without Prussia, but we can form Germany by being friends with Prussia. We don't have to cut anyone in half. Listen, I'm sorry, France. Uh, why don't you join my customs union and we can be friends forever? France is having even more political instability. Listen, France, I feel like we should upgrade our forever friendship into managed friendship. I'll manage it and you'll survive. Doesn't that sound like a great idea? You know, we're having so many immigrants, I feel like we should have a private health insurance. I mean, all these dirty peasants can infect the rich with their disgusting diseases. We need to save the rich from the poor. The poor Prussians are revolting. Sounds like someone I want to tax. Get in here, revolting poor people. You make great immigrants. I'm sure of it. And now to incorporate you into my mighty immigrant empire, Germany. The Romanians are gonna love it. Unfortunately, we still have a truce with upside down Bulgaria, so they're just gonna have to stay here for a while. Don't worry, Switzerland, I shall protect you from the upside down Bulgarians and their extreme ugliness. I mean, Italy is also cut in half and it's also extremely ugly, but I don't like to talk to the Italians. And now the rich people can talk to the poor people if they really need to. The Italians are revolting? Yeah, that's why I don't like talking to them because they're revolting. Don't talk to me, Italians. And now to make sure that our managed friendship with the French is going the right way. Excellent, we're now the same color and everything. All right, upside down Bulgarians. It's time for you to become asylum seekers in Germany. Let us stop discriminating people based on religion. I want more immigrants. Hey, what is this French flag? I really appreciate it, France, but I think you got something wrong. Oh my God, it's beautiful. And with total separation, we can now have a democracy. The people demanded. Wow, that was quick. Let's see who's going to win the first elections in the German Empire. The Agrarian League won. Oh my god, absolutely unexpected. Now we can have homesteading. The people demanded. And by people, I mean, you know, the stinking peasants. I also noticed that I can actually form Central Europe. What a way to 
eat Switzerland. Yum, 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 yum. Delicious Switzerland. And now I have the exact same flag as the Valachians and Russians. The Holy Roman Empire is real. Now I know we have France, but how about a second France? Jesus, that's a lot of infamy. I'll take it. Oh, what are you gonna do, stupid Americans? Arrive from the other side of the ocean in time to save France too? I don't think so. And we have homesteading, which means now we can focus on the most important thing. Stop the discrimination of Romanians. I mean, we're no longer Germany. What if they get mad? We can't have that. Thank you for participating, America. You suck at saving France too. And we're number one because we're no longer discriminating against the Romanians. That's how you know you're number one. Let's fix the trading policies. And listen, I know it might seem like I'm having favorites, you know, having the Valachian flag and everything, but I don't. I respect all the immigrants in the Holy Roman Empire equally. And the Romanians are moving in from Russia. That's how you know we're number one, baby. They didn't got lost because we have the same flag. No, they just want to live in the number one country on the planet. Elections time. Let's see who's going to win. Will it be the right, the left, the far left, or the peasants? Who knows? Britain is having a large revolution. I'll help you for a bank, bro. Someone beat me to it. I guess I'll take British Guyana. It's almost the same thing. A world to win, you say? I'm going to have wage subsidies. To be honest, I want more immigrants and I'm willing to pay for it. And the peasants want the elections. Again. Their leader is a vanguardist. It doesn't sound Sound communist, but it really looks like it. The trade reforms are done. I guess we can now pursue a bit more left policies. A revolution for the monarchy? Come on guys, you can't just shoot people to get what you want. We don't do that anymore. It's election time and the left shot up in the polls. Probably because they united with the far left to beat up the communists. European politics everybody, they just make sense. And the left won, barely. But I can't put them in a government? Oh no, the worst thing, a minority government. As we're trying to figure out the left, the far left, and the really far left politics, I'm going to help my protectorate Spain from Spain. Man, foreign policy is way easier. Just shoot them and the problem is solved. Isn't that right, Spain? Spain says yes. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, the last elections weren't very convincing, so we're going to have to do what the left wants, a presidential republic. I guess it makes sense. Another election cycle, and it seems like it's going to be presidential elections as well. And now we are presidential republic, we are the United States of Europe, we are blue and everything. Who's going to be the first president? The agrarian party won, and the first president is Henry Lieds. Lieds? Lieds. Lieds. A name for the history books. And now we're going to do the democratic thing of voting for whatever the left want so then the president can get what he wants. It sounds like corruption, but no, that's just how democracies work. Excellent, it's time for the president to get what he wants. A cancer republic. A revolution. Oh, come on, guys. You got what you wanted. Now it's my turn. It's how democracies work. Oh, what is this, America? You gonna shank me or something? How? You're so far away. And the Russians also joined them? You traitorous pig dogs. I'll destroy you. And finally, we have destroyed the corrupt system of presidential democracy. It was so bad, Spain went into a civil war. Yeah. But that doesn't matter anymore, because now we're the union of people's republics. That that's right, all the people, and we're red and everything. And the people demand cultural exclusion. Of course, we are the union of people's republics. You know, the ones of the republic. My favorite. And we've solved the problem in Spain. Good job, boys. Now off to the Eastern Front, which looks kinda bad. But that's because we need more time to mobilize the people of the republics. Once they unite in conscription, we're gonna beat back the Russians and the Americans. Because nothing can stop the peoples once they're united. Especially not those capitalist pig dogs and those Russian prisoners bastards. We're gonna cut them to pieces. Oh yeah, the counteroffensive is definitely on its way. We have cultural exclusion, excellent. However, we're number two. Do you know why? Because when I went in my office this morning. I started drinking my coffee and I noticed that it has sugar in it. The stupid child office assistant has forgotten how I drink my coffee, which caused the entire country to lose prestige, which means only one thing. We have to send all the kids into re-education camps. Unacceptable stupid kids. Learn how I drink my coffee. It sounds like collective punishment, which it is. 
And the counteroffensive has begun. Take that, capitalist pig dogs. Guys, can we wrap things up? I need to go help communist Denmark at five. I would really hate to miss it. Oh my god, look at that. Capitalist Denmark is having help from their ally. Oyo, what a great name. A revolution for protected speech. What do you guys want to say so much? We're all leftists. I guess I can allow it. Don't forget, the secret police is always listening. And now we have a plethora of buffer states between us and those treacherous imperialist pig dogs. Also, get out of here, America. You've lost. And Denmark is secure. Looks like there's only four great powers, although I feel like the Russians are gonna drop off soon. Protected speech, oil, and electricity. What more could you want? For the secret police to stop listening in on your conversations and for your neighbors to stop disappearing? No. Another election cycle. Oh my god, the right are leading the polls. Well, they couldn't win, which means another leftist coalition. Speaking of leftist, it's time for capitalism 2.0. Finland is rebelling. I'll help you finish this. All right, capitalist pig dogs, get out. Russia, Persia, and China. We have some unfinished business. I, I mean, work. Yeah, unfinished work. That's what I meant to say. Another election cycle. Who would win? Definitely not the Chinese or Russians. They're losing badly. And the right won. Wow, in a communist country. Well, not enough to actually join the government, but close. And I think it's time for us to collectivize the agriculture. The government needs the money. Uh, guys, I I think you're going in the wrong direction. You're not gonna find Finland there. All right, Russia. Your dominion over Finland is finished. And now we have collectivized farming, which means everything that has to do with the agriculture is now government run, including the subsistence farms. Look at those government dividends. Holy smokes. Now that's how communism is supposed to work. And the French commune is a thing. And they're having problem with some random communist Indian guy. I'll help you, France. Give me French Guyana. Now let's tax everyone equally based on their income. That sounds like the communist thing to do. Oh my communism! Italy has aggressively expanded. I won't stand for this. We have secured the east. We have secured the west. Now it's time for us to secure the south. Britain has declared me their rival. Well, I can rival you back, stupid capitalist imperialist big dogs. America, Scandinavia and the Ottomans are trying to prevent me from securing the south? Unacceptable. And also a perfect opportunity to secure the north as well. Everyone is equal in taxation. And now we can concentrate on equal women rights. It sounds equal. And I'm all about equal. Are we a communism or what? A mass migration from the United States. Hilarious. Take that USA. People want to live here in the socialist paradise, not in your capitalist hellscape. And another election cycle. Unfortunately, the women won't get to vote in this one, I don't think. But we have the communist party for the very first time. And the agrarian league won again. Oh my communism. They're unstoppable. And we have the very first chairman from the petite bourgeoisie. Jürgen. Jürgen? Jürgen. Jürgen. Veneri. The Ottomans in the United States have capitulated. Excellent. Now let us secure the North and the South. And the women get to vote in the next elections for the very first time. Let's see if that changes anything. Another victory for communism. Nothing can stop us now. Hey guys, do you remember our brand new chairman Jürgen Venedi? Yeah, he decided to split and make his own brand new party. And now we have the communists, the Nazis and the far left, which coincidentally is exactly what your average American thinks European politics looks like. And now we have a brand new chairman, Peter von Nostitz, Nos, Nostitz, 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 Nostitz. Oh my communism game, stop throwing these names at me. What is wrong with you? Okay, now let's fix some things. Workers protections, public health care, France, retirement, Finland. Ireland. That's right, you heard that correctly, capitalist pig dogs. It's time to liberate people from your oppression. Good God, France, can't you keep it together for like a month? I mean, I know Denmark is also having problems, but it's their first time, and you're having a revolution twice a year. And the naval invasion has begun. We need to get in there quickly before the Americans arrive. There's no one in Ireland. Hilarious. And we fixed the French problem, for now. Also, the first elections, where the women get to vote. Let's see what changes. I really like how this entire game 
France just didn't do very well. Endless revolutions, financial bankruptcy, they got cut in half, became a protectorate, and still, the political revolutions didn't stop. But the second I invade England, they immediately got their shit together. Good communism, France. If I knew that would fix you, I would have done it decades ago. Alright, Great Britain, your tyranny ends here. Unfortunately, that was a little bit too quick. I was hoping that my truce with Italy and Sweden would expire so I can have Red Europe. I guess I'll have to wait. And the elections are in. The Communist Party won for the very first time, thanks to the women, I guess. I see the brand new liberated countries are adjusting to their new situation. Alright, Italy, it's time to end this. The Americans and the Chinese are here to save the Italians. They, they didn't save the Italians. Alright, Sweden, I'll shoot you too if I have to. A wise choice. And there you go. Red Europe. Of course we have some South America as well. And we also managed to snatch a whole lot of immigrants from Africa. And rubber. Mainly rubber. This is what we ended up with, your stereotypical socialist European country, with free healthcare, free education, secret police to make sure that communism doesn't go anywhere. I mean, it's Europe after all. There's always some communism here, there and everywhere. We are so good at the immigrants, look at that graph. And this is the final score. You see kids, communism works. Just look at that standard of living. Woo! Remember, letting the immigrants come in your country is communism. Preventing them from leaving is also communism. Until next time.